Hello and welcome back guys. This is the second section of our course and in this section we are going to set up our development environment and then we are going to use Azure bot service to set up a simple echo bot and then we are going to test the bot using the bot framework emulator. So let's go ahead and start downloading all our resources and then set up all of them. These are the download URLs from where you can download Node.js, Visual Studio Code, Git Bash and Emulator. So I'm going to start by downloading Node.js libraries. I'm gonna click on the Node.js.org download link here. This will take you to the download page for Node.js. From here you can download the latest version of uh, Node.js which is available for your uh, operating system. I'm gonna use Windows. So I'm going to choose 64-bit version of Windows MSI Node.js installer library and this will start your download. Next software that I'm going to download is my Visual Studio Code. This is where we are going to code our bot. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the download link. This will again take you to the VS Code download page and again I'm gonna just choose uh, installer for Windows I'm gonna choose 64 bit install and this should start your download this can take this can take some time so I'm just gonna pause the video and wait for the download to complete next we are going to download git bash so git bash is a Microsoft Windows environment program but it gives you an emulator layer in your Windows environment and provides you with basic uh, Linux commands and also it will install your Git in your Microsoft environment. So let's go ahead and click on the download link. So this will take you to gitscm.com downloads page. From here you can download uh, the latest version of Git Bash available for your uh, operating system. I'm, go I'm using Windows so I'll just go ahead and download the Windows installer. And our download has started. So this will take some time. I'm going to again pause the video and come back once the download is complete. Now let's move on and download the Bot Framework Emulator. This is the software tool that we are going to use to test our bot in our local environment. So let's go ahead and click on the download link. So Bot Framework Emulator is an open source tool provided by Microsoft to test your locally developed bots. You're just gonna download the latest version which is available for Windows. So if you scroll down the page, you'll see a Windows Setup .exe file. I'm just gonna click on it and this should start your download. So again, this will take some time. So I'm gonna pause the video and let the download finish. So all of our downloads are complete and I have kept all the installer binaries in a single folder. So let's start installing them one by one. I'm gonna start with Node.js. So just double click on the MSI Node.js executable. This will open an installation window. So once your installation window is open, just click on next. Accept the terms in license agreement. Uh, click on next. I'm going to install it in my E directory. I'm going to choose programs and that's it. I'm going to keep rest of the options as default and start installing my Node.js. So this will take some time. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and come back once the installation is complete. So our installation of Node.js is complete. Just click on finish and that's it. Now let's go ahead and install Git Bash. Just double click on the exe file, click yes to give administration permission. Click on next. I'm going to install my git bash in e directory. Let's use program files. So e directory and then program files. That's it. I'm going to keep rest of the options as default. Just keep everything as default and then start your installation. 
this will again take some time so I'm gonna pause the video and come back once installation is complete so our grid patch installation is complete visual code code installation is pretty straightforward you just need to double click on the installation file accept the agreement keep everything as uh, default click on next and click on install and this should install your visual code and add a visual code command which is just code to your path so a visual code installation is started i'm going to pause the video and come back once the installation is complete so a visual code is installed i just click on finish let's go ahead and install bot framework emulator just double click on the exe file I'm gonna install it for myself uh, that's me my user I'm gonna click on next choose a default path and click on install so this will install your emulator I'm gonna pause the video and come back once the installation is complete so bot emulator installation is now complete if I click on finish uh, it should start my emulator so this is how your bot framework emulator looks like so once we are done with developing our bot and we have something to test then we can come back here and uh, open a new bot connection choose the bot URL and then connect to the bot so right now we don't have anything that's why we are getting uh, 400 error but we'll come back to this later so now all our softwares have uh, installed let's go back and see if the installations were successful so I'm gonna open git bash first so once you open git bash you can check if uh, node.js was installed successfully or not so just run node hyphen version command and there you can see that node.js has been installed so our git bash and node.js has been integrated and they have both been installed successfully now let's go ahead and see if uh, visual code is working fine i'm gonna open visual code so there we go we have the visual code open and if you go on terminal and click on new terminal you should be able to see your bash shell is integrated with visual code so you can run your uh, node.js commands and uh, some of the Linux commands here only so we have all our softwares running and everything looks fine and we are good to start developing our bot that's all for this lecture guys and i'll see you in next session thank you